Okay. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Tea Time with Reality Breached. I'm Sergio. I'm Robert. We're gonna talk about some stuff. Yeah, we are. Give me, give me, give me one more. Give me, give me a boom, boom, pow. Boom, boom, pow, baby. All right. So you to be jagging my style. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, the, the, the like Comic Con. Comic Con, June twenty fourth and twenty fifth, baby. This is, okay, this is not the like the the big San Diego Comic Con. Like if this was a the San Diego Comic Con, we wouldn't be recording this in my my, my kitchen because this is what he cook at. This yeah. table is what he eat at. Yeah. I don't live here because I'm just assuming. What's up? Yeah, yeah, I cook right over there. Over me up. My kids eat right here. Right me up. I eat over there because I don't. Over me up. I'm not a I'm not a very good dad. I don't eat with my kids. He's not a good. Or he's I'm, a good dad, but, but, he I, but I'm not a dad in kids. 1975. This is not 1975. No, no. He doesn't tie a tie before he eats his steak. Way way off off topic. Way off topic, baby. Mississippi Comic Con. Mississippi coming Comic Con's up. coming up. What weekend was that? What's up? The weekend of the 24th and 25th of June. Yes. Which is not this weekend coming up, but the next weekend. But when this drops, it might be the next. It might be this weekend coming up. It might be the weekend coming up when this drops, because he's the boss, not me. (laughs) What's up? (laughs) We have a panel. Yes, we we do. We have a panel on Sunday. It is the last panel of the day. We we are closing it down. We're we're shutting it down. We are shutting the Mississippi Comic Con down, son. Yes, yes. I don't know if that's a good thing or if that is a bad thing. It all depends how you look at it. Like the, the, like, the, like the good thing is is just like I mean we I know, say we just go until we're done. Yeah, I, I mean we know when we're on, so that's good. So we don't have to like rush and do things here. We know that we are the last faces that some people I'm not I'm gonna say it's gonna be packed out some people are going to see so so I say we just go until they cut the mics yes I do too yeah it's like fuck it like cause I, I'm pretty sure us and dice junkies can sit there and debate <laughs> until they tell us to stop yes that, like the dice junkies the, j, di, you said dice junkies <laughs> god damn it dice, the, dice junkies. yeah the dice junkies dice junkies do that like, thing we're, we're, we're gonna be thing. discussing video games Yes. Um, <laughs> Dice junkies. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be discussing video games, uh, the current state of video games, and we're going to talk about PC and console Q and Mark. You can do that. With the yeah, like thing. every time you do something like this, I have to. That adds a step in the editing process. All right. Dice junkies. You just did it again. Did it? <laughs> okay. All right. Moving on. Come see us at the Comic Con. If, if we're we're gonna be walking around both days, yes, interviewing artists and interviewing people, and we're gonna we're gonna bug everybody. Yes. So if you see us, bug us. Yes. Just just call us out and be like, hey, four, <laughs> and we will look. Be like four. That's that's the sign. Yeah. That's yeah. That's it. Oh, is it tea time already? Already? Let me reach in my back pocket. By the way, continuity. This is Adam. Boom boom pal. You're welcome, Mark. Why is it that when when people drink out of like styrofoam cups in in like movies and TV shows, it always has the sound of bubbles, even though you know that that's not how it sounds when you drink out of a right? Styrofoam maybe cup. they're not actually drinking. Well, and I know bubbles. that they're not, but it's not a mystery that that's not what it sounds like. Right. Every fucker who has watched the show has seen. So, has drank out of a cup with a straw. Yes. It doesn't always go... No, it doesn't. Especially if they're trying to make it sexy. It's like she's slurping. Like... Moving on. Let's talk about Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, let's move on to something even more sexy. Yes, baby. Wonder Woman. Ooh, yes, baby. I have not asked you. All right. Robert Morris, what did you think of Wonder Woman? Sergio Lugo, let me tell you what I thought, thought about this movie. Overall, I mm-hmm. thought it was a very good movie. I thought it was pleasant. The first part of the movie... The little girl, they could have shortened the time. I would rather have had the teenager longer going into her adulthood Mm -hmm. and cut out the little girl. Even the little girl was adorable. It was only like five minutes. Well, the little girl was longer than the teenager. I would have had I would have had the little girl shorter than the teenager and the teenager longer and have her mother talk to her about the legend of um, the mascara as a teenager. That way she can understand it better as a teenager and understand the concept. This, this is just me now. Okay. And 
and then have have her train with her auntie. It's adorable into, that you say into, auntie. Into, into yeah, into adulthood before Steve Trevor came. Hmm. That's just me. I'm just saying the first part of the movie with the little girl. I would rather have have had the teenager be longer on the screen than the little girl. That's a weird. That's it's a weird critique to me. That's you know, and more in Aries. I just couldn't see him playing Aries. I understand that Aries is older and you know injured from the battle that he had with the gods, and I gotta also realize that this is a a movie. This is the movie universe, and in the, and in the, the actual mythology, Aries wouldn't had a fucking foothold with the top three guys, which is Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. They would have run the map with this motherfucker. So, is it just because he was like a dumpy old white guy? Yeah, he just, he just didn't look the part to me. I think it was the handlebar mustache that I, threw me off. Uh, maybe, like, I see. I I understand what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, like one hundred percent. My problem is, is they had to build the. Oh, spoilers! By the way, mm-hmm. the uh, they had. If you to, haven't seen it by now, what the uh, fuck are you doing? Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> they, they they had to build the twist. Yes. In a way that you wouldn't see it coming. I, I understood that. I you know, understood that. that's why it's not like I just to me it's just I I didn't see Aries being like that because unfortunately, in Justice League. The, the animated TV show Ares was a, you know, Ares didn't age. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it was like so. Ares looks like that the whole time. I mean, this was kind of fucked up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not wrong. <laughs> it's just but in, in, in the context of the movie, I think it worked. I mean, the context of the movie it did work. Like, I, I, but to I, me, I, visually, I, it just didn't fit my visual. Yeah. In- interpretation of what Aries should have looked like. My, like my, my but the th- actor did a fantastic oh, job. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And like, I think it's way more powerful that they used Aries the way they did. Yeah, you yeah. know, because it, 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 it's, it's just like look. Aries being off. the god of war. Yes, and he basically came out and said that I'm powerless because they're going to. All I did was create the weapons. Mm-hmm. They created the war. And he just, and you know, th- that's a fantastic he, metaphor for humans. Yes, because naturally we're violent. I mean, you see that in the world now. Yeah, yeah. Like when people talk about, um, you know, being real world type stuff. People, you know, say that you know, World War One, World War Two, and I said we've been at war ever since man discovered the fact that he could kill another man and gain territory. It's yeah, like absolutely. We've, we've always been at war. We don't have to have a, a title for it. It's man has always been at war. I think we on. I think we, two thousand and seventeen. That's World War two thousand and seventeen is what we on. You know, every had yeah. a point. Yeah, because yeah. we've never had a whole year and nobody shot a fire. So nobody shot a gun. Nobody stabbed the person. Nobody broke somebody's neck. Nobody has stolen from somebody or act or or bombed somebody. You know what I'm saying? In the movie. Aries had a great point. We are naturally violent. We are flawed. We are human beings. We're yes. animals. Yes. And we would never have peace. And the day that we have peace, then the sun will expand and Earth will be gone. True. True. And to like to that point, that last part was a scientific fact. The, take the, it or leave it however you want to. Like watching the movie, I was concerned, mm-hmm. but also like. Wonder Woman's goal was very black and white. You know? Yes. I'm Wonder Woman. I have to kill Ares. Yes. Ares like, Ares is the bad guy. I am the good guy. If I kill Ares, the war will stop. Yeah. You know, like, most of the movie was that. Yes. And... Three-fourths of the movie was. W- 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 not knowing that the twist was coming at the end. The thing is, is I should have seen it coming. I don't, I don't know why I, I was. I don't know why I, I was. See it coming. I don't know why I was dumb enough to think that, that DC would let a movie be that black and white. Yeah. Because if she showed up, killed Ares, and everything was fine, that would be a problem. Mm-hmm. That movie would suck. Yeah. You know, and for her to have the you know revelation in the third at the beginning of the third act of, oh shit, I killed this guy. Nothing has changed. Yeah. 
Even if this was Ares. And then she and then she literally broke down. Yeah, like it broke her. Yeah. Like that that is what makes the movie great. Yeah. Is not only do the viewers see the black and white disappear, mm -hmm. but you see Wonder Woman react to the black and white yes. disappearing. And it was a good reaction. Yeah. It was it was it was a I, I said this on uh Discussing who, I, I said that that movie is an elegant movie. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of jokes, there's a lot like it's it's well put together, but at its core, it's very elegant. Yes. It treats the source material with respect, yes, and it treats the characters mm -hmm. with respect. Even when, even down to Steve, is it Steve Travers? Is that how you say it? Steve Trevor, Steve Trevor, yeah. uh, Chris Pine's character. Yes, hell, hell, man, he did everything Shit. that they did with that character. Aside from the dick joke at the beginning of the movie, yeah, I'm was above average, elegant. Yeah, I, I think they had to put that in there. Like for, the, they the, the, introduced him in a way that was okay. All all cards on the table. Mm -hmm. If this is nineteen thirty something, mm -hmm. that guy is not that guy. Like Steve Trevor in nineteen thirty would be a womanizer. He would be an asshole. He would be hitting on Wonder Woman left and right. He he would be a piece of shit. Yeah. Just putting that out there. Okay. Okay? Right. In in real world terms. Mm -hmm. But the Steve Trevor that they created in this movie was he walked the tightrope that was that is political correctness perfectly. Yeah. He was manly mm -hmm. without being aggressive or stereotypically alpha male-ish. Was that because he knew the power that she had? Because he no. treated his secretary totally different than he treated her. I don't think... No, he didn't, though. He, like, he didn't treat his secretary like shit. He just... when no. Well, we didn't have enough dialogue between him and his secretary to even remotely have that discussion. He, she was his secretary. Yeah. It's not, not like he was this. He, but in the comic, she becomes a colonel. I, yeah, I heard that. That's a big yeah. character. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's pretty legit. But Colonel Candy, like everything uh, up until his death, mm -hmm. like everything was handled with such care and grace, and it was crafted so meticulously. Right. Like Chris Pine would have to be a really shit actor to not be able to pull that off, because most of it was in the scripting. Do you think he's dead? Absolutely. Okay, because some people are saying that the 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 the, um, the the water that he was in is the fountain of youth, because it, the fountain of youth is is on Demascara. I really hope that's in, not the case. DC, and I, I I hope that's not the case either. I hope he's I hope he's dead because yeah. his that that means his sacrifice was just whatever, and it didn't mean anything. You know? yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. That whole Paul the the pause before he shot. The, the gas. Yep. Was that was some good fucking acting. And the the pause was more powerful than the ex explosion. Yes. yes Absolutely. Like, holy shit! It was he, he was dr he was drinking in the gravity of what yes, he was doing because yeah. he just told a living god that loved him that I'm sorry, but I gotta go. This is more important. Yes. It reminds me of, and I'm, you know, I'm just going to be personal here. It reminds me of when I was in basic training, there was a drill sergeant that was a ranger. And he had this whole speech, and it was called, Daddy Gotta Go. Daddy has to go do this mission. Daddy may not come back. But you got to realize when I get that call, Daddy's got to make sacrifices, and Daddy's got to go. And when I when I watched that scene, oh, that's fucking sad. He said that with tears in his eyes when I was in basic training, and we he had everybody tear. Like I was in tears. Like, and he was like, "When the time comes again, Drill Sergeant Robert Isom has to go." Yeah, I will never forget that man's name. And when he was on the plane, you know. And he looked at that, at those gas tanks, and he had the you know the pistol or whatever. The only thing that was on my mind was, what was he thinking about? Like, did his life flash before his eyes? Was he thinking about? Was he thinking about 
meeting Diana? Was he thinking about everything he's done? Was he thinking about his friends, his family? Him being a spy, I'm pretty sure he didn't have a family per se. Yeah, yeah. like, you know? like that's that's a that, that, that's an interesting question. Like I don't, I that Pauls had the the, the a pa- thought into it. You know? Yeah, it's like this is it for me. Yeah, this like, is the, 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 like this is the end of the line. Yeah, you can easily fly that plane right back down and land it, but no. You, you like either you blow it up and you kill all the gas or you land the plane and the gas is still there for somebody to steal it or potentially use it. Yeah. And it's and it's crazy. And that's the and and, and it's like are are people going to know this the, the the biggest hero of the war was a mortal man. Of course not. That <laughs> destroyed a gas that not even gas masks can help protect. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a crazy it's, concept. It Wonder Woman you, is a great movie. Yeah, it makes you. <laughs> it, ma- it makes you think about. It really makes you think about the wars, the titled wars. Who are the unsung heroes that we don't know about? Who are those people that were? Spies or nobodies that the history books will never say, but are the greatest American heroes. They were, uh, heroes, period, because it's World War. There are more than just American heroes. Let's well, be real here. There's not always someone left to tell the story. Right. Is is, is I think is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, that's where I'm coming from. Yeah. 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 And it's like you know who you never know. Like somebody could have stopped a major bombing of. This country or this city or this village or whatever, and that person is regarded as a great hero at that time. But over time, they get forgotten. Yeah, that's why I say time always wins in the long run. Oh, that's depressing. Well, hey, that brings us to the end of tea time. Yes, it does. I'm sorry I was long winded. I mean, we're actually both out of tea. We are out of tea, and Adam is thirsty. Ah, well. Thank you for watching Tea Time with Reality Breached. Four. Four. I'm Sergio. That's Robert. I'm a guy. He's a, he's we're, we're guys. See you next time.